even Australia. Thank you for tuning to our SSK online program. Before we start, let's recap on the lesson taught by JJ Ellison on 27 June. Can you remember what are the three points? The three means? Yay! I hear one! Bread! And the second B? Oh, ball! Very good! And the last B? Bible! Good job! All you dear good children! And before we begin, shall I invite all children to arise to your feet and say the three P's. First P, participate during plays and worship. Second P, pay attention during the lesson. Third P, ponder and think what God is saying to me. Good job. Let us now invite Sister Grace Livia to say the opening prayer. Hello everyone, my name is Grace Divya and today we're going to pray. So let's pray. But before we pray, let's close our eyes, bow our heads, pull our hands and let's pray. Dear God, thank you. Thank you for bringing us today. Thank you for your presence. I pray that you give the children a wonderful message Wonderful time hearing the message shared by Teacher Isaac Boo. Help us to ponder what you are speaking to us today. In Jesus' name I pray and all of the children say, Amen. Thank you, Sister Grace, for the opening prayer. I shall now invite all of you to arise and welcome our worship team as the leaders in praise and worship.
So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. with something that seems like a little impossible. What if I told you that I can walk through this piece of A4 paper? Would any of you like to try it? Maybe let's have teacher and oh, teacher I want, I want, I want. to try. I want teacher, I want. To walk through this piece of A4 paper. Let's invite teacher and listen. Okay, come, let's try it. Ah. First thing must cut lah, huh? Okay. Well, let me show you how it is really possible to completely go. Let's turn to the Bible to read Ephesians 3 verse 20. Children, follow me to turn to Ephesians 3 verse 20. Ephesians 3 verse 20. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. Now let's go on to the experiment. I shall use another fun lesson to demonstrate that even situations which appear nearly impossible can be made possible. I have firstly a peeled hard-boiled egg. The second item that you will need is a dry bottle with an opening slightly smaller than the diameter of the egg. And the third item is I need some very hot boiling water. Be careful, yeah? Let's try to fit this hard boiled egg into our bottle. Can you do it without damaging the egg? No, it seems impossible, doesn't it? That egg is just too big, but impossible things are not always as they seem. Let me show you how to make that egg easily fit through the opening of this bottle. So for the first step of the experiment, we need to pour a couple of inches of boiling water into the bottle. Wow, really hot though. Pour a little bit more. Then, you place the pure egg 
firmly into the opening of the bottle. Gently roll the egg between your palms to make it slightly more slender. Have you ever had a problem in your life that seems just too hard to be solved? We offer ourselves in difficult or sad situation at one time or another. But God is able to help us. Like the water in the bottle, Jesus is called our living water. He is able to meet all of our needs. And he wants us to bring our problems and impossible situations to him. How can you bring your problems to the Lord? You can pray and tell him what is bothering you. God wants to hear what you are feeling too. He wants to help you and you and you. He wants you to trust him. Sometimes, even when we are talking to God and trusting Him to help us work through our problems, things can take longer than we would like it to. Just because you are waiting for a resolution to your problem does not mean God is not working. There are all sorts of things going on in the bottle right now that we cannot see it and which will eventually help the egg later pop into the bottle. Just because we cannot see things happening in our lives does not mean that God is not at work helping us. If we are able to make things happen that seem to be impossible, Imagine how much more powerful our God will do in your life. Let's see what the Bible says about this. In Mark 10 verse 27, With man, this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. When hard times come your way, will you trust the Lord to help you? Jesus loves you more than you can ever imagine. He wants you to talk to Him like you would to your best friend. He's able to help you more than any friend on this earth ever could. He's able to make the impossible things possible in your life. As the egg pops into the bottle, look, it was possible after all. It was possible after all. The egg has popped into the water. Before I end today, let us, in conclusion, recite these two Bible verses together. Let us invite Teacher Ellison to recite these two Bible verses. Good afternoon, children. Today's memory verse is taken from Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 Now to whom is able to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us Ephesians 3 20 and Mark 10 27 says with man this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God! Amen! Hi, my name is Carmen. 
Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that you love us and that you are strong enough to help us with our problems. Help us to talk to you and trust you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hi kids, it's JJ Ellison back here again. I'm so blessed by today's lesson. I'm sure you are impacted from teachers Isaac sharing. Remember, with many, many things that are impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Thank you for joining us today. Next Sunday, we will have Zoom children service. Check us out on our Facebook for the Zoom link or WhatsApp to any of our leaders for the link. We will resume online service on the 25th of July. Don't miss this out. JJ Ellison will be sharing to you on oranges and bananas. They do not mix. Or you cannot. Banana will not like the orange. The orange will not like the banana. So, this, keep this in mind. Remember, 25th July for this lesson on banana and orange do not mix. So really, I got to go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.